Hello, my name is Don Hornet, and I'm president of Crust Buster and Crust Buster Speed Gang here in Dodge City, Kansas. In this video, I would like to update you on the progress Crust Buster is making on our twin road planner project. As any new project goes, the project is continuing to evolve with new and exciting features being added, which further improves the overall efficiency and usability of the planner for you, our farmer customers. Bar none, the main reason you as a farmer would buy one of our planners is because of the big capacity box. This 2.7 bushel per foot box can hold a full large tote bag of seed or approximately 50 bags. In planting crops where a large amount of seed is needed per acre to reduce the number of fills required per day of planting greatly increases the number of acres planted. In crops like peanuts and soybeans, our planter can plant three times the amount of acres between fills as a typical box style planter can plant. In peanuts, customers have repeatedly told us they can plant 12 to 16 acres between fills. The amount of acres planted per day rivals what a single row planter can do twice its size in a day, day's time of planting. This large capacity box is carried on the frame supported by the land wheels and the seed is delivered to the row units via large convoluted hoses. Therefore, the opener weight is consistent and not varying between a full box and an empty box. The variation in a typical box style planter is approximately 150 pounds between a full box and an empty box. This causes the opener to run deeper or shallower depending upon the fill of the box. Expensive adjustable airbags are being put on competitive units to deal with varying opener weight, with the operator continuing to guess a proper pressure throughout the emptying of the box. Crustbusters down pressure is consistent and uniform regardless of the fill of the box. Okay, now then, by virtue of delivering the seeds to each row unit from our big box, we've achieved equal and consistent down pressure on each row unit. Now, having recognized this, we have also recognized the need to have plenty of flotation on each of these row units. We are the only twin row planter on the market that can offer four and a half inch gauge wheels on each side of the opener blade, even the one that's running in between on the twin. We've done this by radiusing this part here, allowing this gauge wheel more room underneath the twin, and also moving by moving the twin two inches to the rear. Now then, by doing that, we have taken the four and a half inch gauge wheels, we put them on both sides of the opener, and like I said, even the one that's in between the twin rows here, we have four and a half inch gauge wheels. So you have four and a half inch gauge drill flotation all the way around. After having provided plenty of flotation to each row unit for constant seed depth, now we must close this trench that we're making. Now the ideal thing about our planter is that the kerf angle in which we open, we've narrowed our blades down to a nine to nine and a half degree kerf angle. Most planters are running anywhere from 11 degree up to 14 degree. So the smaller the kerf that we're cutting, the less cumbersome it is to close that kerf back open. Now as far as the closing wheels, there are many, many different combinations of closing wheels that will work. The ideal thing to do is to try to choose closing wheels that will work in most of your conditions that you're going to have on your farm. By far, the most common closing wheels are the double 1x12 rubbers. Now on a twin row configuration, we have double one by 12 we stood the one of them up that's in between the twin and then used the normal angle on the one that's on the outside that coupled with the rolls in, be, in behind here 
gives us the twin row closing, the 1 by 12 double twin row closing. Uh, and like I said before, it's probably the most common set of closing wheels used. Uh, now, I would like to show you other closing wheel configurations. Another configuration that we've used quite extensively over the last year has been the wider 2 by 13 doubles like we show right here. This really gives a lot of a lot of flotation to the uh, closing wheels and it also keeps them from squeezing and trenching quite as much as what the double 1 by 12s will. We also can combine this rather than just the flat of the uh, 2 by 13 we can go with a peak on it also. So if you would like to run a peak on the inside and a flat on the outside or any combination there too, a person can do that. Another closing wheel that we've used pretty extensively has been this 4x12 with double rib and a soft center. In uh, the, the lighter the sorrel and the softer the sorrel, the better this closing wheel will work. And it's been a, been a real good uh, utilization of a, of a closing wheel. Now, on all your double configurations, you can run a spike on one side and a smooth on the other, or you can run cast closing wheels if you're in a no-till situation requiring more, uh, more control and more closing. So there's all sorts of different combinations a person can put together. Now we've talked about all the flotation we're putting on the opener with the four and a half inch gauge wheels all the way around, the closing wheels and all the advantages we have there. Now we don't want to overlook another exclusive crust buster feature and that feature is what we call a balanced design. With the diagram here you can see our competitors, the X represents the front twin and the O represents the rear twin. They're uniform all the way across the planter with a front, rear, front, rear, all the way across. What this happened, what this does though, is causes the planter to want to pull over to the right with the rear wanting to fall off the bed. This produces uneven depth planting and it makes it really tough to harvest the rear row, especially in peanut harvest. Now with Crustbusters balance design, we start in the center of the planter and with a with a front, rear, front, rear, and then on the left side, a front, rear, front, rear. So we have balance, balances between the front and the rear. This tends to keep the planter running straight through the field and equal forces wanting to walk to the right or to the left. This is a feature that is only found on Crustbuster at a very critical point when it's time to harvest. Before we get off the opener itself, I'd like to also look at other things that we do that is, is really, really very unique to our planter. First off, we do offer an option here that would be a scraper to the outside of the blade. The next thing that we do that no other planter do, will do is because we have 16 inch diameter uh, displays rather than the typical 15 inch. Over an inch bigger on diameter provides more wear, etc. Then we have the cast bearing housing rather than a plant. Inside this housing, we're running two 204 R steel bearings. So rather than just one bearing and a light plant, we run two bearings and a cast plant. Other things on this we'll cover in more detail later. Okay, the opener is provided with an easily adjustable down pressure spring. In the upper notch is virtually zero down pressure, very minimal. And then every notch you move back adds approximately 50 pounds to the down pressure of the opener. So the spring now is adjustable and settable to the conditions you need to match out with your field. Another very unique system that Crestbuster has developed is a way to very easily convert your twin row planter
to a single row binding configuration. We, do, we call this a cranky crank system. We run a square tubing bar behind the row units and underneath the box we extend the chain down to hook up to one of the twins and then by virtue of using a worm gear on the end of the box we then crank the and lift the unit one of the twins up that we're not going to be using in a single reel configuration. This combined with a with a double hitch on the front of the planter, the yellow arrows representing on a twin reel configuration where your quick hitch would be hooked to. Then as you want to go to a single reel configuration, you just drop your quick hitch on your on your tractor, move over four inches, and pick back up where the yellow arrows are showing. This now centers the planter back on a on a single row configuration. In summary, our easy conversion crank your crank system is a great and exciting exciting crust buster feature. All you need to do is hook up and crank up one of the twins, drop the quick hitch and move the tractor over four inches, lift the quick hitch, change meter plates, plug the unused meter and go plant. The design of our crust buster planter makes it very easy to hook up to a strip till rig. The large tubing runs right back through the frame to hook up to the uh, caster wheels and the conversion is a very simple thing to hook to a strip till rig. In summary, big box capacity means more acres per day planted. Superior opener flotation equals even planting depth equals even emergence and then an easier harvest. Easy conversion cranky crank system provide for a multitude of row spacing and configurations. Easy hookup to a strip till rig, common tried and proven components from meter to flex drive to row unit itself, right assortment of closing wheels, all combined. This means superior planning to you, the farmer, and superior performance in the field equals better crops and higher yields. Thank you for watching our video.